we saw this large column of black smoke. We came over here to take a look, and this is what we found. It's a look appears to be a mobile home within a row of uh, other mobile homes that that has caught f that has caught fire. And it looks like uh, we're watching this live. It's starting to spread to the neighboring mobile homes here on the uh, let's see, 1600 block of Cellus Street, so near San Fernando. And uh, stand by here. I'll give you a better cross. It's San Fernando and Hubbard. So near San Fernando and Hubbard is where this is burning. You see the fire department just now arriving here at the location. And uh, they're going to start to uh, get some hand lines on here as soon as possible. You can see just how quick they're trying to move to get some water onto this mobile home. They, they recognize the fact that this is starting to spread throughout the uh, community here. We saw some neighbors that are out here with their hose lines. We don't know if uh, they were the people that were inside the mobile home that initially caught fire. We don't know if anybody is still inside. The cause uh, is still undetermined. You can see it's also spreading to the power lines here uh, within the community. And uh, LA City Fire now arriving on scene, quickly uh, getting those hand lines out. They'll get some water on here very shortly. We're seeing uh, LAPD or San Fernando PD uh, now arriving uh, here within the vicinity. They're going to start blocking off some of the streets here uh, within this community. We'll widen out here and just show you how high this column of black smoke is rising over the San Fernando Valley. And uh, again, here you see all the resources that are starting to arrive off of San Fernando Road and some of the neighbors that are trying to clear the space for these engines to uh, get into the area. But uh, yeah, this is a very intense fire that has just started here within this mobile home park and we'll stay overhead and uh, keep an eye on it. That's the latest from Sky 5. I'll send it back to you in Hollywood. Yeah, that black smoke uh, really starting to kick up now, putting a lot of uh, really nasty toxins in the air. I, I Big concern too has got to be that automobile, uh, Rich. It's right next to the, to the fire. Yeah, certainly. You can see it's already been charred here, so that's starting to catch as well. And you got plenty of uh, bushes and trees around this mobile home that's making it easier for this fire to spread within this row of mobile homes. Uh, so it's burning very hot. They only able to get one hand line on here so far. Uh, and we still have responding units from from the LA City Fire Department still trying to get into position. And we'll, we'll try and make a way around here just a little bit, Dave, if possible. Maybe we can slide a little bit north We'll get it. We'll get a, another angle here uh, as it, we're watching it spread to the neighboring uh, mobile home. Uh, but it looks like th th there's not a whole lot they can do to prevent that from spreading to at least the neighbor one, which you can see is now starting to take off here. Um, so it's it's spreading more in a, uh, I guess, in a northern direction here. We're seeing one here on this side starting to catch. So hopefully. They will continue to get some hand lines on this and prevent it from moving any further than these three mobile homes that are now caught on fire. Uh, looks like there's a good chance they're going to be able to prevent the car at least from continuing to burn. We saw the char there on the passenger side, so uh, certainly some damage to that car. And again, we we don't know if anybody is still inside that mobile home or was inside the mobile home at the time of of the fire, uh, once they are able to get the flames out, they can uh, do some sort of a, they'll, they'll basically search the mobile home to see if there's anybody still inside. And, and again, we're seeing some of the neighbors out here as well that were trying to use hoses to put water on here before the firefighters were getting in position. And we're hearing the size up right now from the fire department. And uh, basically, they're, they're talking about what we had just discussed. It's a fully involved mobile home fire with spreading to the other mobile homes. But now they're also talking about uh, the power lines that are right above here that mm -hmm. uh, may have fallen. So uh, it's just some added danger there for the firefighters. They'll need to bring some utility crews out here to uh, essentially turn off the utilities here in the area so they don't have run the risk of electrocution here. But uh, just an added uh, element here that the firefighters have to contend with and you can see they're just trying to make their way around uh, these mobile homes through the bushes here that are helping to fuel the flames here as it continues to spread here on the 1600 block of Sellis Street. 
Well, Rich, the good news is they're on both sides of this street, and so they're going to be able to fight it from both angles. And you are correct, that second mobile home, which is basically inevitable that that uh, home was likely going to catch. It was so incredibly close, and mobile homes are highly flammable. And so just that one little ember jumping over to the roof of that other mobile home, hopefully no one was in that home when uh, that started. But the good news is firefighters are there. They are able to fight it from both sides, but imagine the smoke there and you had talked about the dangers of being electrocuted, but also those poles can fall once they uh, become weakened. They can fall onto the street, onto another home or, you know, onto one of the firefighters. So again, uh, just the struggles that firefighters do have when fighting a fire like this. Uh, that one mobile home that you notice if you're uh, have been with us since we came on here. The smoke, again, white now, a little bit more gray white as opposed to it was pitch black dark yeah. when we first got on, and that means it was fully engulfed. Um, so obviously a total loss for both of these mobile homes, but incredibly close to each other too. That's the problem. Yeah, they're certainly crammed together in tight, tight proximity. You got, you know, the trees and the bushes that are that are intertwined in between all these mobile homes so that's not helping the situation here and the power poles you know as you mentioned yes they can uh you know eventually topple over and then it's like a domino right they can start pulling the other poles along with it but it looks like they're able to at least uh extinguish the flames that were on the pole so hopefully that will stay intact here we're seeing more and more water being poured into uh, the mobile home and uh, earlier on we saw some uh I guess what would appear to be like maybe some, some natural gas, maybe some propane that was burning around around the uh, mobile homes. So uh, hopefully none of, we don't have run that risk anymore. And they're trying to salvage and try and get us get a look inside the mobile one of these uh, mobile homes here, and we'll get it we'll get a, uh, an update on whether any everybody was able to make it out of these trailers here. You're seeing uh, the one here on the right. But there's also one that's under the smoke to the left that was starting to catch fire as well. And uh, Glenn, as you mentioned, that uh, white car there uh, that is badly damaged uh, as that fire was burning uh, very intense uh, just moments ago. But, you know, a little bit of good news, at least for the one that initially caught fire, we're seeing more white smoke. But now the danger is off to the right there as we're seeing it starting to burn inside of this mobile home uh now so uh again we're, we're, we're looking out the window here we're watching the response we'll widen out here kind of just give you a sense of the the area here and and what's happening around uh this community you can see all the fire engines that have arrived here on the scene uh as well as pd starting to block off some of the streets we have some rescue ambulance that are standing by on san fernando just in case uh they are needed for maybe any sort of fire victims, and obviously on standby for the firefighters as they continue to battle this fire here in San Fernando. All right, if you just uh, happen to uh, flip over to Channel 5, uh, you're watching breaking news only on 5 during the KTLA 5 News at noon. This is a mobile home fire in San Fernando. Uh, as you see, the one mobile home, a total loss. There's damage to the car you see there on your screen. Also to my right is a second trailer that also caught on fire. Uh, firefighters getting on the scene you know, fairly quick and trying to keep this under control. As you can see, these mobile homes are very close together with a lot of vegetation, some large trees. This could have been a lot worse. Um, as far as the conditions they're fighting weather-wise, uh, Andy Reesmeyer handed me a note, said it in San Fernando, it's about 75 degrees right now. Winds are about five to seven miles per hour. But the humidity is low at 18%. Mm -hmm. That would certainly uh, help fuel the flames on this, but hopefully the wind will stay died down. And as, as Lou mentioned, those power lines, uh, a concern there running uh, down the street uh, in front of those mobile homes. And of course, across the other street on the other side, there are more mobile homes. So firefighters working quick to try to keep this to at least the two mobile homes we know of are damaged. I'm sure the one on the left side is also uh, suffering some fire damage and, and you know, about was about five, 10 minutes ago, the black smoke coming out of that uh, that mobile home in the middle was just unbelievable. But uh, the good news is, is now that smoke, even though there was a lot of it, it's white, which is a good sign that 
firefighters are getting this under control. And great work uh, by the firefighters here. If you live in this area, again, this is uh, in San Fernando, around Pico Street and South Lazard Street in San Fernando. Uh, obviously, uh, going in that area, not a good idea right now. Uh, as much as you do want to check on your home, of course, we'll cover it here. But moving into that area, police uh, are going to cordon off those streets and they always advise for folks not to head in the direction of where that fire is because you're only going to impede the work of the firefighters and police in that area. We were on this Sky 5 first on the scene here on uh, KTLA and the great news is uh, it is looking so much better. It was fully engulfed when we first got here and now that white smoke is is a beautiful thing, as we like to say. Absolutely. As you can see how close those uh, mobile homes are together and some of those other structures. I mean, this this could have been a whole lot worse than what it is, even though it is pretty bad, at least, you know, for the folks that uh, are suffering damage here. Mm -hmm. All right, we will keep our eye on this for you, and uh, we are going to take a quick break, but we will be right back.